Hello, Gemini. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and welcome to your Tarot Forecast for October 2024. Guys, just a reminder, this is a general reading, so just take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force anything to fit. I'm reading for a lot of individuals, but the general reading is not always just focused on love. It There's other areas, too, here that uh, could be coming up for October. So we're going to look at the overall energy here. We're using the Runes Oracle deck and Runic deck because, well, we have Runes Reality coming up at Harmonia Friends Club, and I will explain more of that towards the end of the reading, but let's get to it it shall we gemini this is for gemini sun moon rising and venus calling in our guides our ancestors and our ascendant master spirit what is going on for gemini in the energy of october here we go oh i love it i love this because something here is about to be reaped for you gemini we have Yera here, and this is all about a harvest, and we are in harvest. And I always see this as, um, you know, two, it, it reminds me a little bit of the sign if it's just one of them, Kanaz, but it's two of them together. So it's almost like breaking bread. There's something here of that's in fruition that you're going to be enjoying this month. Interesting. I like that. It's a good start for Gemini. There's an enjoyable energy here for you. Let's see who you are in the fool's journey or a court card here. That's only the, the major arcana cards and the court cards. We're using the double major arcana deck. No reversals when we're explaining the character. This is just your current energy of what you're bringing into October. This is you now. Okay, let's see what we got here for you, Gemini. Oh, wow, <laughs> look at that. Who you are right now, the magician. There's more to come. You are really seeing how everything works in tandem. As above, so below. There's this massive energy this month for you, Gemini, where you are actually going to see some of the things that you have been manifesting for far, far too long come into fruition. I don't know. It almost feels like all of a sudden it's coming in like more than one area of your life. Um, but, you know, what do you do as a magician? You use all of those laws. You use all of those tools. You got the cup on the table, you got the sword on the table, you got the pentacle on the table, but you got the wand. So you're working with the universe. You are sharing out your dreams. Um, and you're also taking steps here of trusting the universe, because in order to manifest, you must surrender it to the universe. That means let go of trying to control it. So I feel that you are really mastering the magician within you, the creator. This is all about creation here for you, which is a very beautiful start. I'm excited to see how the rest of the month is going to fall for you. All right. So we're using the runic deck now. We're going to do the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. This is an old school style that I used to do. Reversals to me mean blockages and it's not blocking the path. It's about your past. It's energy that needs to come up to be cleared regarding your past. So do not feel like these blockages are, are meant to stop you. It just are identifiers to see how much the past is coming up in October. That's how I read them. Everything about reversals is extremes. It's not about the opposite. All right, here we go. Gemini, beginning of the month. Here's an extreme here. We have the King of Swords. That's you. There's something about the past. The old version of you. Okay. The old version of you. Okay. High Priestess. I feel that like you're really busy this month. You are letting something go significantly to the universe and i feel whatever this push is for you and it does feel like a push here with on zeus is you're declaring here to put the work in keep your mind i'm starting with this card first because they're really just pointing me there but i feel that you're like you know what i can look into the universe i can try to uh, check on it all the time but it's not working in my favor 
Now, the King of Swords is also the energy here of someone who's very brutally honest, uh, can be a little bit to the point of their honesty hurting people, cutting individuals. But there's this energy here of not so much a lack of trust in the universe. There's a little bit of annoyance. I feel like Gemini is like, yeah, I know. I've been trying to manifest something for quite some time. I'm, I'm exhausted trying to tell the universe and I'm starting to feel like it's full of shits, <laughs> you know? And there's a part of you going, you know what? I'm going to care more about the practical things in my life, which is actually the best thing you should be doing right now. And there's something here where you may feel like you're turning off the spiritual. Some of you may even feel that you may feel like I don't want to get readings. I don't want to um, connect right now, but there's something here where you're actually resetting or regrounding yourself. Uh, it's no secret that things have not panned out in the way that you want it to, but that Buffalo you see the buffalo in the background? To me, that is uh, the totem here of prosperity, of wealth, and protection. There's something here that the universe has been, been protecting you for. So you may be like inundated with signs or synchronicities, and you're just kind of tired of trying to decipher it or hearing the thing of there's something coming your way. It's changing. Like even me stating, Hey, you have this massive possibility of something amazing to receive because Laguz is here. So it's about receiving. It's because your head is down on something else. That's what it feels like. See how the middle of the month is going for you. Oh my goodness. Well, look at that. We have the emperor here, Aries energy. Authority taking charge here, Gemini. Seven of Cups. Oh, interesting. I had another one of my cards slip in here and I cannot believe I didn't notice that. We're going to keep this right here because this is about holding on. You were holding on too tightly to something or someone or some of you, your money, because you were afraid to spend it, because that's, you know, I don't know, there's something here about holding on really tightly to a particular option, and you're realizing towards the middle of the month, oh my goodness, you're getting, the, the thing is, is I, you have a gift that is behind you, and it's not in the shape or form that you can ever imagine you. You see who's behind you. It's like a little fairy here. Okay. Fairies may be something significant. It's interesting that I keep going towards the eights, which is towards the end versus what's in forward in you. Because I, I almost feel like that's a message on its own for you, Gemini, that spirit's really pushing you to look forward. Stop looking backwards. Everything happened as it should. Everything happened as they should. Four kings in one Aries energy. This is someone here who is <clears throat> breaking down old belief systems, is very protective. And there's this energy here where it's time to understand that there's also some sacrifices that need to be made. So I feel towards this end of and or towards the middle that there are certain things being pulled away from you as your head is down and focused on more of the practical things in life. And you feel like you're losing things more than you are gaining, but you're not seeing, ah, thank you, spirit, that these losses are creating room for something big, big. So it's not just one area in your life. There are several things that you are purging people people. There's people you are purging. Interesting. Watch. Watch. They're going to be doing a lot of evaluation this month of loss of individuals, not to scare you, but people who are going to be removed from your life without you even needing to do anything about it. Could be physical moves, could be, you know, physical moves to different planes and things like that. But I just feel like there's certain people in your life that were not serving you anyways. Anyways, <laughs> I told you death. Death. 
what it is doing is leading you to something great. And it is a doorway. There is a massive transformation going this month for you. And it's interesting how it is Yera, which is the harvest, because there's something about, and I really felt like the harvest was coming in here, but the harvest it's already here, meaning that there's things being harvested. I, I get it now. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So I was like, I don't understand. And this is probably how you feel when you're coming up this month. And this is a good like thing for you to realize that things are being removed or harvested out of your life because you asked for something better. And you haven't certain seen certain results, but you're going to see a lot of removal this month. And it may... Uh, discourage you a little bit, but as long as you remain grounded and focus on things that you can sustain, and some of you sustain is focus on your money or focus on an idea or focus something about a strong family unit or a strong friendship. But when it comes to anything emotionally taxing to you, it's going to be removed, removed in ways that you will never imagine. And it may make you nervous because there's a lot of nervous thing here of like, oh my God, oh my gosh. But no, this is a key point to go that this is happening for me. This is happening for me. All right. I love how it is this rune binding. And it is really a binding here that I feel like Perthro is like hit on this twice in that sense where it almost creates the gods a little bit without it. I feel like with the combination of those two, that there's a new dawn coming. And the consequences of what we have changed and shifted to are going to make a ripple effect as soon as we start focusing on ourselves, focusing on ourselves. Very cool. So there is a harvest coming. You may not feel like it is the best harvest, but it's creating space. It's creating room for something that's going to be way more fertile. So we're going to look at some of the reversals here at Harmonia Friends Club. Um, and then we're going to look more deeper into your love for October and your money. And any reversals that come up, we're going to look at it, Harmonia from the adjustments point of view, because that's what Harmonia Friends is all about. It's about balance. It's about realignment. And we're going to see what spirit has advice wise for you as you interact with those portions of you, as you feel that, right? That's something that interests you. Would love to see you at Harmonia Friends. Don't forget, we got your lucky numbers though. So stay tuned. Harmonia Friends, guys, has a 30 day free trial. So don't miss out on that because you get access to the entire vault, the entire vault here for you. All right. Gemini, what are your lucky numbers? Oh, we have a six and a one. So we have 16 or it could be 61 or it can be seven. This is a month here for you to reflect and how you take this knowledge. And it is going to be a lot of knowledge here for you. How do you choose to receive this? Because the first law in the law of hermetic philosophy, which is what the magician uses, is the law of vibration. Look upon what you are putting your energy on. Are you going to be putting on that energy here in the negative that it's not coming, that you're focusing on loss? Or are you going to look upon this as, oh my gosh, the universe is creating room for me because I asked for something better. The one is all about opportunities and potential. The six is about working with the universe. And I feel like this is you and this is the universe. So now it's about kind of a ping pong effect here. And it does feel like it almost feels like pong. I feel like a pong going back and forth, back and forth. You're going to go back and forth. And some of the swing here is going to be on loss this month. But this loss is actually going to feel really good um, at the in the long run because you're going to be able to breathe and set more freely and have some kind of reset. And I feel like the reset's not just going to be within October, but towards um, November and really feeling more freeing here for you in, in December area. But we're going to see how that plays out for you. All right, guys, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit like and comment below. Also want to remind you guys that Runes Reality is coming up here on October 12th. The best way to uh, sign up for that is to become a tier two member because tier two members get 50% off. 
That's why I love Harmonia Friends Club, because I know individuals who join Harmonia Friends are people who want to take stock of their life. They want to take accountability and they're not going to just want somebody to fix them. Right. And Harmonia doesn't do that. We use the runes here to apply to your life. You're going to be casting for you. We're using it as a self-divination tool. And anything that you want to change or shift within your life, we're going to apply that. You're going to have the accountability group to do so. So for 12 weeks, you will get unlocked new content each week. You will have a group, a private group here to talk and chat with other individuals who are taking runes reality. And then we have a couple of group ups of cells where you get to actually meet virtually some of the individuals taking the course here. But if you can't make it, there's always the replay value of them as well. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you check over at Harmonia Friends Club where all of the information is live. I also have a Q&A which has more detailed descriptions of the FAQ of what's actually obtained in runes reality. So make sure you check out that program. You guys take care and have a good one.